Good morning, YouTubers. I'm going to program a UZGS on a BMW E38, and we're going to see if we change the VIN number in it and let it work properly. Right now, this EGS is being taken from another car and put in this BMW, and so you know it's engaging only in one gear and it's not changing now. So we're going to try to treat it with this to be program and encode it and see if that will solve the issue. Otherwise, maybe they have to change some solenoid in the valve body. So let us proceed with this to be. Create a measure span for the EGS, so it's going to try to program and encode it. It's going to treat it as a replacement follow up, so hopefully it changes the meaning of that. So, okay. okay. You have the charger on it, right? Okay, so I got on it. The 
Probably come up, he probably come up again with a dialogue box and ask him to turn off terminal 15 for usually. All right, there goes. Yeah, turn off it. It's gonna, after, after 10 seconds, gonna come back up until it turns down back again. Okay, that's right. If the EGS is program and code it fine, then and it still give us the problems with it. And it doesn't select the drive and so on and so forth. The car doesn't move from off where it's at and so on. There may be a valve body problem in terms of solenoid. The EDS, the EDS valves may be you want to change it out. You know what I mean? So it's a used transmission taken from another car, right? All right, he said we have this fault code left. There's a pressure activator there for that generator fault. It's a solenoid valve tree. We want to change in that, okay? Okay. All right, so maybe that's a pull the transmission and take off that valve body off and change out solenoid valve tree. All of it. And, uh, I'm going to try to clear the file codes. 
No, I check it, yes. I was going to talk about removing the ball code. And usually it comes up with something that says that, well, if it's not being in, we will shut down this copy and use this study. So we're waiting for that. Okay. Alright, so I come up with LM and MRS. You see that? Alright, he said those he said those phone code entries are still present. So let us see and wait and see what comes up here. Um I'll see what comes up here. Okay. It's gonna identify back over the control units and all. Okay, it's doing it's doing back over the system. Identify back over the control units and all. I guess it's done. All right, you only have one code in the live module and the MRS, you know? Okay. And the MRS and the airbag, you know? So let's end this session right now. Okay, EJS program. So let us look at action list. Then, all right, end session. The chip that is on this computer, is it the i5 or i7? What is that? The CPU, is it what? Intel i5 or i7 on this computer? Intel uh, i5. Oh, you buy a brand new computer? Wow, what's the brand? What's the name of it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's Windows 10? Oh, well. Hopefully, their drivers are the same. Hopefully. What's the brand? What's the brand of the computer? Oh, what's the brand of this one right here you're using? Is a 
brand I say. Which one is it right now? Right now it's like HP. HP. Okay. Hey, the EGS team still don't have any code. Alright, start the vehicle and put it in reverse and see if it. I'm going to have to turn it off and make it go and sleep. Okay. Turn off the ignition. Yeah, no, just, just turn it off and let it go and sleep more for about 5 or 10 minutes. Just take off the battery charger off again. And just turn off the vehicle and let's close the doors. And then probably just let it go and sleep more for 5 minutes or 10 minutes. Huh? Okay. Try start it up and then put it in reverse and tell me how it feels. Or you could do it now and try. I don't know. Try it now. Yeah, try it now. It's moving. Yeah, it's Alright. Wait, it says reverse move now? Yeah, it's a car move. Okay, put it in drive. Yeah, the move, uh, same, I don't know. I have to go on the road to see if it's moving well or not. All right. Yeah, okay. yeah, go and check it now. Go and check it on the road. And let me know, okay? Okay, I'll call you back when I'm finished. Alright, good, good. Alright, no problem, cool. Uh, okay, I'll call you back. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, sure, no problem. Okay, YouTubers, we have just programmed uh, 1997 E38. I've just programmed a used EGS that we're taking from another car and put it in this car, and then, you know, Easter P like to change the VIN number. And then it um, align the vehicle order and so on. It, it do it successfully and so on. And then it only have four codes left in the light model and the MRS model. And because you can see on the computer screen, you can see that the um, the control units. As you can see, the control unit three here. It's um, it's in green. As you can see, the control units for the EGS is in green. There's no file code in it, so hopefully, you know. This guy's all the way in New York, and um, I'm in Miami, Florida, programming his car over to you, so hopefully he's going to know test drive it and see if the gears in the drive, select from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up. He said he get reverse, and the car moving reverse, and he put it in drive in the garage, and move. so we're going to see what the result is when he get back. Alright guys, have a nice day, take care, end of this video.